down to a disturbing case of suspected animal abuse out of the southern tier. Dozens of animals have been rescued from what authorities are calling deplorable conditions. Tonight's 7 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Proya is gathering new information for us. Take a look. It all started with a fire and a phone call from a concerned neighbor. This wasn't even a hoarder situation where you had a path. Like a lot of times with a hoarder, you have a path to get through. There wasn't even a path. We were climbing on things. When the fire department, sheriff's office, and Cattaraugus County SPCA entered this home on Main Street in Olean, they say they found more than 30 animals living in deplorable conditions. The house was actually one of the worst end ones I've seen. There was dead animals in the house that I believe died before the fire. So um, that's evidence enough that to show that the animals were not living in healthy conditions. According to the Cattaraugus County Sheriff, two ferrets, five snakes, two bearded dragons, several cats, a chameleon, a lizard, numerous pet rats, a chinchilla, a daegu, around seven rabbits, some of which are pregnant, two dogs and eight puppies were all removed from the home. Some of the animals are now blind due to them having the improper light. Mama is in a pretty severe condition right now. She has worms. Um, she has eight puppies, but she's so emaciated that she isn't really holding on weight. It was definitely an animal hoarder situation in the sense that you could tell that they, in their, in their minds, they were helping these animals and they just had no sense of what the responsibility really is. Three individuals were arrested, charged with failure to provide sustenance, proper food and water, and neglect. If found guilty, they will be added to a county registry and will never again be able to own an animal in Cattaraugus County. But we are able to actually give them a criminal summons to appear in court and pay fines if they are found in possession of animals again. And once the animals become healthy enough, we will definitely find homes for them. Most of them we actually already have homes for. Um, we're just waiting for the logistics to make sure that we don't step on anyone legally. Olivia Proya, 7 Eyewitness News.